love you guys. Happy 2023. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am filming another haul. Um, I feel like I've been shopping so much lately, but I've just been trying to pick up some more basics for my wardrobe and I feel like I have a good amount now and I might take a break from shopping, um, but I'll keep you guys updated. I feel like the next time I do like a haul or anything like this would just be like um, my spring collection and maybe I'll add a few new pieces if I find a few more things. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this haul. So, I went to Abercrombie, and this was just an in-store order pickup. Um, I tried on a pair of denim jeans last week, and they were perfect, but they didn't have my size, so I ordered them, and I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. You guys, these are my new favorite denim. I can't wait to wear them. I actually haven't even wore them outside yet, um, but yeah. Maybe in the next vlog, you guys will see me wearing them. Um, I tried them on in-store, and they look amazing on me. Okay, so this is called High Rise 90s Relax Jeans, Light with Cross. Um, the rest of it is cut off. But they're super cute, you guys. Like, look at them. I've never had pants that have this little. Well, let me find them for you. One sec. Okay, guys. I've never had denim that has the little slanted. Um, zipper so I think that's really cute and I've seen this trend for a while and I was like mm, I don't know if it's for me I don't know if I like it but I really like the fit the color and the style of this so I was just like whatever it's cute I don't have anything like this so I picked it up and I'm super happy about this you guys like look at how light this is you guys this is perfect for the spring and just right now um, I got a 27 long of course because you guys know I have to always get a really large size in pants because I'm so long but they look amazing and they look really good on the back I do like that it doesn't have the little logo here I like that it's this boot print I feel like I read an article before and it said like denim jeans that have that little brown patch make your jeans look less expensive if that makes sense and like it's so easy you just get like this little tool and you just rip the seams out and it doesn't put any holes or anything in it but you will probably see like the stitching and stuff but um yeah, I think it just looks so much cuter like this. Like, I can't wait to wear this in the spring and summertime with, like, just these pants and, like, a bikini top when it's, like, super, super nice out or if I, like, travel to a nice location and it's, like, really warm. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to wear this. This is going to be my new favorite denim. I'm honestly considering ordering this again just to have it in twos because I know I will probably be wearing this religiously, like this sweater like I'm living in this sweater right now you guys I'm obsessed I love it so much if I could wear it to work with me I would but we have to wear all black but this is so beautiful you guys I'm really happy about this you guys have no idea like when I moved I literally gave away all of my jeans you guys and I only had like four pairs and I was like you know what I don't think it's really my vibe anymore I'm gonna have to like revamp my jeans but I can't get rid of any jeans until I buy new ones so I've only been working with like one pair of denim jeans but I ordered them in two so basically two of the same pair um and then I picked up like a pair of leather pants which is nice but it won't last for long like in the next season or so I won't be able to really wear leather pants as much but um yeah I'm so happy now I have another pair of denim in my wardrobe um thank you Abercrombie for having this it's amazing I only paid $73.24 for these pants because I got them when it was like a sale. I think it was either like 15% off or maybe 30% off, but I'm super happy about it because they're just so cute. Like, how could you pass up on cute jeans? Like, come on. I'm all for like the mom jean vibe, the light wash, the high-waisted. You guys know I have a lot of crops and I think they look best with high-waisted jeans. So, yeah. So, you guys, moving on. The next store that I went to was Aritzia, of course. Um, and I picked up some more basic tops and I'm so excited. Um, I love Aritzia so much. They have really nice quality pieces and I really love the customer service there. Um, you don't get that anywhere and I know some people get like really shy about it. Actually, it happened to me the last time I went in there. It was like the first time I ever got like shy walking out in front of all the mirrors. But I actually like that they come in and they help you a lot. Like other stores, I have to like look around for their associates or just like get it myself. You know what I mean? So it's nice of them. But let's just talk about everything i got here um 
I have been thinking so much about these tanks that I saw from TNA the last time I was in Aritzia and I've been dreaming about getting them and just wearing them to bed and just like having them to be such a versatile piece in my wardrobe. Um, so yeah, let me just show you guys. This is the little packaging. You guys know how this goes. I'm going to open it because I never open them. It feels like a present. Okay. All right, so the first piece that I picked up was this black tank. Um, this is the exact one that I've been like envisioning buying for myself. It's so cute, you guys. I've never had anything like this ever in my life, just because like my boobs. I feel like they're not made for things like these. But this is basically a uh, like a tank top, and it has a built-in bra. Um, this is called the TNA Life Core, and it's in the color black. And I gotta say, it's medium, just because you know, if you guys know, the girls are girls are growing um but this says it has light support and it's sweat wicking which i like so it makes me think that this is like an activewear tank um or just something you throw over like your workout set you know what i mean after you're done working out although i will probably try to work out in this but i'm mainly gonna just wear it for like bedtime like just like some light tanks that cover my girls and just give me a little bit of support um also, I just feel like this would be a great versatile piece to throw in with my denim jeans and when it gets nicer out and you don't really need like anything, that, like maybe I'll get a jean jacket or something like that, a little flannel, a jacket or anything would look really good with this as well. So I'm so happy that I found this piece. The thing is like whenever you shop, it's like if you see it, just grab it because you don't know if it's going to be there the next time you come and I've learned that over time. You know what I mean? Especially if it's like the last thing, last size that you see available on the floor, they probably don't have it in the back. That's normally how it works in retail, but I am so happy that I snagged this, you guys. She's beautiful. I feel amazing in this, and it's just really nice to have some comforted, supported tanks. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about this purchase. And this was actually $58, and I feel like it's really good, so it's worth the money. All right, you guys, the next tank that I picked up here is also from TNA, but this one is more like a chill ribbed tank. Um, I kind of have one like this from H&M, but it's a little too small on me, so I can't wear that one anymore unless I want to show the girls. So this one is the TNA ribbed racer in the white color, and I got this one in the small because it's just long enough to where I don't really need a medium and... Um, probably gonna be wearing this one with the bra anyway so it'll be fine um but it looks like this it's one of these little ribbed baby tea tanks and it's cropped but it's like this longer length so it looks really good with like high-waisted jeans again as well or even just like when i had like my leather pants on when i was trying this on i really liked how it looks so i just imagine this like pajama pants or like with shorts in the summer it would still look amazing um I have a thing for black and white, you guys. Like, I don't know. I just love neutrals. Like, I know this is, like, not a neutral. Like, it's a pink. It's out of my comfort zone. I really got it for Valentine's Day. Um, but I think I'm going to keep it because it's really nice. But I love the neutral colors, you guys. Like, I'm all about, like, the earth tones. Like, something with white, black, gray, and, like, a beige, tan, cream color. Just, like, it's really nice to me. Um, so I love it. Um, just going to have to be careful and try not to get makeup on this. <laughs> because it is all white um yeah i might go back and get the black one but i don't really need it right now so i am obsessed with everything that i picked up i had a really good shopping experience the other day i found pretty much things that i've been thinking about and looking for and some of them are in my size but we'll talk about that after the end of the video <laughs> So you guys, the last thing that I picked up from Aritzia is another TNA tank. Now this is the same exact one that I had in black, but I got it in white because I thought why not just grab them while they're here and like you can never go wrong with like the basic neutral colors. I like to buy things in twos as you can tell. Um, so this is the white one. It's so cute. I love how the material feels. It's like this thick lined tank. It kind of gives like TNA butter or maybe like, I don't know, the material is just really nice you guys. and. It has a pad on the inside for the bra, which I like as well, and it just feels really good. I like it. It's like lightweight, but it's also pretty thick, you know what I mean? So you're not going to see much, you're not going to see anything, it just looks like a tank. Um, and I'm excited to wear these, you guys. I've never ever had like tanks that like have um, a built-in bra in it. Um, even with sports bras, they're still not that comfortable 
I don't know if I'm just getting the wrong size or I'm like they're getting the wrong style or fit, but every time I buy like sports bras, they're not as comfortable as I would hope them to be, you know what I mean? So I'm excited to wear these. Um, so cute and I'm obsessed. Okay guys, so I'm not sure if I told you how much this tank was, but this one was $25, which is a lot better than 58, but you can tell the quality difference and what you're getting the value for you know what I mean so I'm more into that these days like I like buying pieces that are worth the money okay guys so the last thing that I picked up in this haul I didn't get a chance to add it in the blog for Thursday um, I literally just went in Sephora really quick and I picked up one item because I knew that if I filmed more time in there I'd probably buy things that I don't really need right now as makeup and beauty and the hair and fragrance wise so I decided just to get the thing that I mainly went in there for which was a pink eyeliner um, I saw this like Pinterest picture of like pink eyeliner and it just looks so cool and I'm like that would probably look amazing I actually have it on I don't know if you guys can tell uh, I didn't put mascara on my bottom lashes just because I hope that it picks up a lot also I did kind of use the eyeliner um, to line my lips um, I don't know just experimenting but I think it looks pretty good um, yeah, let me just show you guys it. Um, it is the Sephora Collection Ultimate Gel Eyeliner. It's waterproof. This one is different from the other one I have, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, so it looks like this. This never focuses, I'm sorry, but it's literally just pink and silver. And I love that it's twistable and it's so easy. Like, it literally just glides on so well, you guys. And the pigment is perfect. Like, it looks so good on me, you guys. It will look good on you as well. Um, I think it looks good with the sweater color. It's pretty much a match. Okay, you guys, so this mascara is called 33 Fuchsia Shimmer. And it's really pretty. It's not a shimmer, but it's just a really pretty pink pigment color. And then it also has this little bottom part that you can take off. I'm not really sure what this is. I think it's either like a shadow brush or... There's something she was telling me this does, but I really forgot. Um, but I picked this up. I was contemplating on getting a brown eyeliner as well. Um, but I didn't. I feel like it kind of just looks like black eyeliner on me and it just reminds me of like my dark under eye bags and I'm just like, no, we'll just do the pink and concealer, you know what I mean? Um, but also, I was asking my sister, like, should I try out a brown mascara? Like, would that look cute? Also, I feel like it's time for me to get an eyelash curler because I don't have one and I've still just been like applying the mascara and I feel like it would look so much better if I had an eyelash curler. So maybe that will be the next few makeup items that I pick up in Sephora. Um, but I'm still going to think about if I want a brown mascara because I don't know. I just TikTok, you know, they always influence me so much. Like they're like, this will make your eyes pop and it will look so good and everyone should get this if they have brown eyes and this and that. And I'm just like, I don't know, maybe, but... I'll probably have to test it out before I decide to buy it or not, but I think I will stick to my black mascara for now and just do the pink eyeliner. Um, I really hope you guys can see it. I did like the little corner. I was wondering if I should just like line my under eye with the pink and then do like the corner with white, but I just did it all pink today just to test it out, just to feel the vibe for it, but yeah. Alright you guys, so here's my little situation with Abercrombie. So, I ordered a pair of these really cute denim jeans that give like cargo vibes, but they're not cargos. And I picked these up because I feel like the color, the style, the fit will be really good for spring, you know what I mean? And I just, I like them. And I'm like hunting denim jeans, but also not in a rush. But I found these and I'm like, maybe I should just buy them, grab them, style them with my wardrobe and see how it works. If it doesn't, I'll return it, you know what I mean? So... I tried a few sizes on obviously they never have longs in my size for some reason so um, I even went up a size just because of the fit of it it felt really snug on my thigh part okay guys so I picked up a 28 regular to try on because I didn't have a long of course um, so I tried it on and I vlogged about this and I talked all about how pretty it looks and how I would just buy the regular but I want the longer length because you guys know I'm pretty tall and everything I get has to be in long these days for me. Um, so I was like okay I'm totally gonna get them. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna style them well like what colors like maybe just like neutrals or just like darker tones with the cream pants but also I really envision wearing these like pants with my um, modern love corset from urban and I will insert a picture of the pants and then I will insert a little style 
with me layout of like the corset the pants and maybe some cute sneakers to go with it and like some hoop earrings i feel like that would be such a vibe for like day to night look you know what i mean i think that would be so cool um but no i went to the register to just do another in-store order for in-store pickup and i told the guy all about how i have to get long and everything because i'm so tall and he's like oh i can't relate because i'm not that tall and i was like yeah well it's like it has its benefits but like everything i have to buy has to be in a longer length or it's just gonna be super cropped on me you know what i mean so we were just like laughing about that and i was filling out all my information and everything and he didn't ask me to check anything i thought it was fine I told him I wanted to order a 28 long and he sent a 28 regular, which was the exact pants that I brought up to the register for him to scan so he can know like which style that I want to order in a 28 long. So I was just like, I caught this the second day of the order and I don't know what made me check my order, but I was like, maybe they'll send me an email saying, um, your order's processing or something like that and I realized that it said 28 and not 28 long so I was like doing the math of like my previous orders of how everything says 27 long 27 long you know what I mean of all the pants I've ordered from there and how this particular one only said 28 and I was just like am I confusing myself right now like maybe I'm like making this error in my head and I'm just like you know kind of going crazy about it right now so I put it in my cart the 28 long for the cargo pants they're just like denim but they have this little cargo in them um and i match the style numbers and they're totally different they're off by two numbers you guys and i'm like there's no way this kid ordered the 28 regular when i specifically asked for a 28 long i mean i get it like people make mistakes there's gonna be errors and like no one's perfect you know you can only do so much but i didn't expect him to order the same exact size that i tried on in store that did not fit me that i probably would have just brought if it was just a little longer like it was a little above my ankles and i didn't like that because i didn't think i'd always wear knee high socks um with them and i still didn't like the way it looked so that's the reason why i asked for a long um so i was on the phone with customer service and they were like we can't really exchange the size right now it's a little too late for that and i was like okay can we just cancel it and reorder it and they were telling me how i would have to cancel my order wait for my refund and repurchase the pair of denims in the right size and I was just like I'm not doing that like just cancel the entire order like that it just doesn't make sense to do that and it's just not that deep for those pants that I was still contemplating on buying like I was just like you know what I'm over it I don't even want them anymore just cancel my order um would they be available in stock soon maybe I can like try it on again in store like this is absolutely ridiculous um so I just canceled it and the lady told me they will be having them back in stock in a few days but i don't even know if i want to go through that again like i don't know you guys i just picked up these ones and i like these the most but i thought it would be nice to switch up the vibe of having only denim jeans to like a really cool cream pair but i don't know how it's gonna work out i'll let you guys know what do you guys think like should i still just go in and reorder it um or see if they have it in my size I just kind of don't even want like I'm so turned off I don't even want them anymore but they are so cute you guys like I really envision myself wearing them I don't know maybe I will call the store in a few days and see if they have restocked it in my size and then go in with like the corset and try it on and see if it's worth it um but yeah let me know what you think I should do all right you guys that's the end of this haul and my little situation with abercrombie i love you all thank you so much for watching um i will be posting new content every thursday and friday and i'm switching up everything this time my content is gonna be totally different um and i'm so excited for you guys to see and if you guys have any like recommendations of videos or anything you want me to talk about on here comment down below or you can always dm me on instagram if you don't really feel comfortable commenting um but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching me and supporting me. I love you all and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. I just want to do a little quick update on how I've been feeling lately. Um, mentally, I'm getting a little better, but at the same time, I am not. If that makes sense, I... The last time I drunk was probably Saturday. I had two shots of tequila and like two margaritas and I threw up again so I think we will not be drinking I wanted to drink on Wednesday on my day off but I actually didn't because I was being smart 
and I have priorities like I have to film for you guys and I can't fucking slack for you and for myself so yeah I don't know love you bye